guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is daniel rosal here i want to do a very quick video regarding everything there is to know really um about external devices using external devices with your synology nas i'm using the synology um ds920 plus nas here and i uh, connect from time to time a hdd enclosure so it's a hard drive in an enclosure and you can connect that directly into the usb on the front of the nas you can even actually connect a second uh, NES to the first NES. And once you do that, you're gonna get a initializing message. Now just to show you um, how to access the information about it. So when your um, external device is connected, you're gonna see a little icon. This is the latest version of DSM I'm running here. In the top right, it says external devices. And it says, uh, it'll say initializing, then hopefully we'll turn to normal. And then you have the option here of uh, ejecting the device. And that's very important that uh, to preserve the uh, useful length of your, uh, of your um, you know, hard drives, if you're using them for additional storage, that you do this every time. Um, I've covered in a previous video where to find out info about the external device. It's capacity, it's not listed under storage manager. You need to go control panel, external devices. And then you have this. Now I don't actually, unfortunately have, if I just uh, go back onto external devices here, I don't have those smart testing functionalities appeared for a second, then they disappear. So unfortunately I don't have the ability to do uh, smart testing, S-M-A-R-T, which basically uh, kind of probes the health of the device and gives you early indications that it might be failing. So that's really important to do. Um, in any event, this is a place where you can see, and I've mentioned this in a previous video, so I'll just say this quickly. This is where you can see um, how much disk is available. Um, so you can see I've used here, it's a terabyte hard drive in a enclosure, and I've used 203 gigs out of the, and you know, usually you're gonna find the usable capacity is gonna be a little bit less than the actual advertised capacity. So in this case, it's a one terabyte, um, hard drive, but I can only use 916 gigs out of that, and I have it formatted as EXT4. So there's a few more things you can do, as you can see. In settings, you're able to change which users on your NAS have access to this external device. Uh, you're also able to eject it from here. And the process I would do um, when I'm finishing moving stuff onto the enclosure here is I'd firstly eject this, then I would safely power it down. So I wouldn't just like pull out the plug um, from the wall, which would be one way of doing it, but that's uh, that's not the way you're supposed to do it. So the correct correct way to do things, firstly eject, then power off. One final thing to do, uh, to note about this, and I'll end this video here, is that you can actually uh, format the device on the NES. So for instance, I use Linux as my main operating system. So I find ext4 the most convenient file system to work with. So when I buy a new hard drive for cold storage, let's say, and it's, it's another discussion if that's the best uh, medium for cold storage, but uh, rather than having to format it into ext4 on the computer, I can actually just put it into enclosure hook it up to my Synology and I can actually write the, format the disk into ext4 without needing to touch the computer. And as you see, as you can see, um, you can you can either format the entire disk or if you've formatted it already into partitions, you can do it into partitions and your options are, the options I'm getting anyway is that you can format into ext4 uh, if you're just gonna be using it in Linux like I have on this one, or you can go for a FAT32 and FAT32 can be used on both Windows and Mac, and there's some limitations about characters. So depending on your preference, you can choose to format it directly here. I'm not gonna do it because that would basically uh, lose all the data I have on this disk. Um, but that's pretty much everything I've sort of figured out so far about using external drives. And these, it doesn't matter if it goes into a USB and it's compatible with this analogy, it can work. It could be one of those plug-in external hard drive or SDDs. It can be an enclosure as I'm using, etc. cetera. Um, it'll recognize and then it'll automatically create a um, file folder and you can move stuff directly from your local files on the Synology onto it by simply cutting and pasting or dragging and dropping. So it's incredibly uh, useful and you can even copy from non-DSM windows, just drag and drop into the folder for the external uh, hard drive on DSM. Hope that video was useful. If you wanna get more videos from me, please subscribe to this YouTube channel.